how does this make you feel seeing a fellow comrade with guns on his uh, body and that he most likely was going to be assassinated? Well, first we have to thank God that he survived. Because it's definitely it's by the hand of God that you can be shot at so many times and you survive. And uh, the grief also of losing a daughter and then a driver, it's a mixed up situation. So there's grieving for those who've been lost, but also happiness that uh, General Katumba survived. However, I think the situation is not good, I think, because we have had so many assassinations, a number of them successful. I think this is more or less the only one where they have not succeeded in, you know, the target. Right now we can't go into the causes, but the danger is that when that grows into a culture and it almost becomes uh, an acceptable way of uh, solving issues of whatever nature they could be, that becomes, that becomes dangerous for everybody. It doesn't matter what level you are at, it doesn't matter whether you are in government or outside government, it doesn't matter whether you are a public servant or a business person or a peasant or whatever, that culture is very dangerous. When you look, scan all over the world and see countries where that culture has taken root, first it becomes difficult to uproot. So the best thing, at least for those who are in power right now, is to do deep analysis if they want to uh, salvage our country and shape the future. Where you can have a country, you can have disagreements, you can have disputes, whatever nature they are, but that there is first, the first line is to have tight security. But two, the social, economic, political environment in the country. Well, people know that there can be disagreements, there can be whatever they are, whatever the source, but that there's a line you don't cross. That takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of discipline, and a lot of engagement across all stakeholders. Those in government, those outside government, those in business, those outside. So that because we live in this country together, <laughs> you know, because uh, an incident of this nature, not only this, the number of them that have happened before, should keep waking us up as a country, those in leadership, those outside leadership, to say, okay, what kind of country do you want to live in? Because you, you are not going to build fortresses, you are not going to move in tanks. <laughs> so the, the solution is the culture. We have to really act very, very fast to ensure that we have got an environment, whether, whether you are a citizen or you are a resident, that you feel secure in the country, that you don't think that anybody can come and take you out <laughs> any time. Because the, the most worrying thing is that we have had so many high-profile assassinations and attempted assassination, and the, the capability to investigate, get the criminals, try them, charge them, sentence them, because that's also a deterrence. We have not seen any happen. So again, the government really has to think and, and invest more into, into like criminal investigation department, into the services that would be able to stamp out this kind of thing. That's what I can say right now. But are you so surprised by this attempted assassination? Because nobody would, wouldn't have expected the Nukatumba to be the target. But we have seen many other such uh, killings which have happened in this country over a period of time, you know. And in the sense that, uh, you know what? There are so many weapons in this country. There are so many people who are trained.